Welcome to my YouTube channel um, of uh, betterprocess.com. My name is Thomas Liebetrud and today uh, we will discuss um, how to map and uh, develop supply chain processes. In general, mapping and developing processes is an important uh, issue when you um, manage your business. Um, and to do so, there are several frameworks and um, yeah, models um, that you can use to map and develop uh, processes. First of all, uh, starting with the port of, port of value chain, uh, where you can identify uh, USP in um, the making process or uh, the uh, delivering outbound logistics process and uh, define where you have competitive advantage um, yeah, uh, compared to other companies. Then you have the business uh, process uh, model um, where the categories management processes, uh, core processes and supporting processes could be uh, distinguished. Um, and on a more operational level, you have uh, the possibility to model specific processes with uh, modeling notation languages uh, such as BPMN 2.0. And on the other side, there are also frameworks uh, that you can use or reference uh, process models that you can use uh, to map um, processes. And for supply chain processes, luckily uh, we have the SCORE model. SCORE stands for Supply Chain Operations reference model. The SCORE model was developed in around the 1980s um, when uh, companies uh, suffered from uh, severe supply chain problems, uh, for example out of stock situations in supermarkets and they had to talk to each other and find out uh, where exactly the problem was. So there was the need uh, to understand each other and um, as there were no um, yeah, defined and, and standardized uh, yeah, process language uh, for supply chain processes, uh, those companies um, yeah, um, discussed together and developed um, the SCORE model in order to do so. So the SCORE model basically uh, provides a, a unified language uh, for supply chain processes. The SCORE model itself um, consists of uh, three parts. Um, the first part is uh, the process uh, part where the SCORE model provides some kind of standardized uh, processes and process categories um, that most of the companies that have operations uh, will have in their supply chain, such as uh, source, make, deliver, plan and return. The second part uh, is the KPI um, section um, associated to the different uh, process uh, categories that were defined. You can find also KPIs like the perfect order or uh, cost to serve. And the third part uh, of the score model consists in uh, practices and um, the score model also distinguishes between um, recent uh, practices or more advanced uh, practices that you can use to optimize your supply chain processes. Normally you have to become a member uh, to get full access uh, to the score model but there is also free content of the SCORE model available uh, on the internet by the APIX. And um, in my blog post, I will show you how you can use that free content to map and develop your uh, supply chain processes. Therefore, we will use uh, the example of an online shop. And in my blog post, I will uh, present your methodology, um, how you can map and develop your processes. The first step is obviously um, mapping um, your processes. So for example, for an online shop, um, you have the sourcing process where you source the products from your suppliers, um, you deliver the products to your customers, and important for online shops, you will also have return processes from your customers where around about 40% um, of the goods that you send to the customers are being returned. The second step is that you identify um, specific success factors for your business. Um, for example, in the online shop, uh, we will find out um, that it's important uh, to source the best products and also to manage the um, return process uh, correctly and uh, efficiently. The third step um, consists in defining um, the appropriate KPIs to measure uh, your success factors and um, again, um, looking at our online shop, we will see that um, the uh, efficient sourcing of the uh, products and the efficient return handling um, are 
um, success factors that have to be measured by KPIs. For example, um, there you can use the return rate, uh, which is defined as the number of returned items um, over the uh, items that are sent to customers. Is an appropriate KPI, an important KPI to measure the success of, the, of your business. And the last step um, is defining or establishing a technology roadmap uh, for your business based on um, the defined processes, your success factors and the KPIs um, because they can really identify where it's most appropriate to support your business with the right uh, technology. So that was the methodology that you can find in my blog post on uh, betterprocess.com. Uh, and I wish you a good reading and uh, enjoy the blog post. <music>